Brunswick, Georgia, on the College of Coastal Georgia, the Southern State Showcase just around the corner. John here, Nicole there, and we got a lot going on on a lot of different levels. Yeah, we got winter sports, we've got spring sports, we've got it all. We've got a new school you're going to tell us about, yep. and a basketball team, right? Dal Dalton State. All right, well, don't go away. The showcase starts right now. Southern State Showcase on Sports South. Welcome back to the showcase. We're here in Brunswick, Georgia, on the campus of the College of Coastal Georgia. Did I get that right? A lot of C's, a lot of G's. You a little got bit it. of a tongue twister for you, sure. You're rolling. Well, John, we've got a lot going on. What do we got first? End of the show. Those of you who are faithful viewers here of the showcase, you see the polls, and there are a lot of polls going on these days. Winter sports, spring sports, southern states really doing a lot of great things in the top 25. So let's find out what's going on in the conference with this week's lead. The men's tennis team at AUM is like looking at the United Nations at times. Eight athletes, eight different countries, four continents, and a plethora of different languages that fourth-year head coach Rolando Vargas has to sort through on a daily basis. They've come from France, Venezuela, Morocco, Tunisia, Argentina, England, Spain, and Venezuela to take the courts for a coach who was raised in Mexico. For Vargas, it's an adventure, but a fun one. It's always uh, exciting to have um, people from all over the world, um, you know, different cultures, different religions, different everything, you know, and uh, it's always good to kind of globalize, you know, have uh, a little bit of everything. And, you know, we, we, we try to get um, really good talent from all over the world. So, you know, once they're here, you know, they kind of relate to each other because they're all from different countries and sometimes live in their homes. You know, they feel a little lonely, but then once they're here, they know that their other players just in the same position as they are. So it's easy for them to, to, to be, become friends, to become teammates, to become family. And usually when you have that connection uh, within a team, you, you, do, you do really well and success pays off. For the sake of the story, we'll talk about the team trying to come off a national runner-up performance in 2013 while adding another title to the Warhawks ranks. But having all these different lives coming together as one on the courts is an interesting experience, not only for the coach, but for the players as they learn about each other's countries, languages, and customs. Like, uh, all our team is uh, from everywhere, well, from Morocco, Venezuela, Spain, Argentina, other countries. And it's a really great experience. I mean, um, I, I cannot ask for better, to be honest. I, I enjoy every day there. We, we, we have great practices. It's, um, it's, it's very nice to, to have this experience to, to, to live in, in this uh, that we call the American dream, but it's actually, it's actually a great experience. It's pretty interesting because you have to adapt to everybody. We all, like, we're all different in a way, like, but uh, we get along together because we all traveled a lot before, so we kind of used to it. And uh, yeah, it's pretty good. It's, it's different. And coming from all corners of the globe to unite in Montgomery is an experience that none of them will ever forget. Yes, there is some culture shock, but at the same time, it's something they carry with them always. Our school is looking for uh, diversity, right? So when you bring a lot of foreigners, they, they, they bring a lot of different cultures to us, towards campus, right? So you get uh, people from Morocco, people from Spain, people, people from uh, uh, Tunisia, England, and then they bring their habits and their customs to a small city like Montgomery, Alabama. And then it's a bit of a shock for the people there, but it's, and it's a shock for the us foreigners, but uh, it's very um, fruitful as experience for uh, us uh, foreigners and for the locals as well. The Warhawks are traditionally the hunted in the southern states and across the NAIA, but Vargas always wears the results of his team's success on his right hand. It's a great recruiting tool and a great reminder for anyone that you must bring your best if you want to play with the Warhawks. Well, you know, this is kind of like a funny story, you know. Um, at the beginning, I kind of 
did it for me. You know, we won our first national title with the girls uh, three years ago. And, uh, you know, I was like, well, you know, I'm so proud of this team. You know, we won it with five girls. So, you know, once I got the ring, you know, I actually got a little ring. You know, I was like, this is just for me, you know. But then later on, I realized that some people, when they wanted to be a part of AUM, they would like to Skype and, you know, it's just a little thing. They look at your hand and they go, what's that? You know, and I'm like, oh, it's a ring. Oh, awesome. Uh, and I just tell them, hey, do you want to play for one? And, and usually it kind of works out. So then the second year, I was like, well, you know, if people are looking at it, you know, you might as well get something that you could really see, you know, because I, I had so, one really little. And then the second one was a medium one. And then, you know, um, the third one in a row was very special, you know, so, you know, I actually wanted to, to keep it the same as the medium, but it, it came a little bigger, so I, I, couldn't, I couldn't really complain. But, uh, I mean, I, I feel really proud. It, it's not, not really for others, but it's for me, basically. And, um, you know, I like to, to wear it. I mean, I never take it off. I only take it off when I'm, like, you know, putting shampoo on my hair because I don't want the, 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 the shampoo to get on, on the side of the ring, you know? That's the only time I take it off. So I'm really proud of it. I'm, and, you know, it's, it's basically about the players. You know, if it wasn't because of the players, I, I, I wouldn't have this. So this is kind of like a, a, a symbol of what being a family in AUM means. So, you know, I, I'm, I'm really fortunate. I'm really proud. I love to wear it. I like to go, you know, to places and have it in my hand. So it's just for me, it feels great, great feeling. Once again, AUM Tennis has both conference and national title aspirations. For the Southern States Showcase, I'm Scott Singer. That's the lead here from the College of Coastal Georgia. When we come back, we're going to introduce you to one of the new schools coming in full bore next season, and they're already making inroads when it comes to basketball. A trip to Dalton when we come back on the Showcase. This is a photo of a toasted, tasty Nuke sandwich and another of Nuke's crispy California-style pizzas and supremely satisfying salads and oh-so-decadent desserts. Of course, they're just photos, but proof enough that a picture can tempt a thousand taste buds. Come to Nuke's and enjoy our signature dishes made with the finest, freshest ingredients in person. After all, taste buds can only take so much tempting. Choosing the right college can be difficult. You're looking for professors that will challenge you while investing in your future. You want a place where you can be yourself and have fun while strengthening your faith and making a difference in the lives of those around you. You belong at the University of Mobile. The University of Mobile offers more than 40 areas of study in a Christ-centered environment just one hour from the beautiful beaches on Alabama's Gulf Coast. The University of Mobile. Learning, faith, and leadership. I had a dream, a beautiful dream I couldn't believe how real it seemed Up on stage, in the field of green On the winding river, when the song you'll sing When I wake up, I'll see you Here in Montgomery, where dreams come true Our adult students are a rare and special type of person. Leaders in the office and the community. Teachers in and out of the classroom. Superheroes without capes. They administer first aid on computers and scraped knees. They are changing healthcare and themselves. Be the best version of yourself with an accelerated bachelor's or MBA degree from Bethel University. Call one 877 bethel today. From Little League to the Big Leagues, Musco specializes in sports lighting around the world. Musco's light structure green sports lighting cuts operating costs in half with less energy use, cuts spill light by half, provides guaranteed constant light levels, and includes a 25-year warranty. For your budget, for the environment, Musco Lighting, we make it happen. Welcome back to the showcase. It is a beautiful day here on the campus of the College of Coastal Georgia. We've got a little tennis behind us. Spring is in the air for sure. Spring has <laughs> sprung. Winter sports kind of winding down. You'll see how successful the Southern States teams are when we get toward the end of the show looking at the polls. And I can guarantee you that there's going to be one team that's going to be added to those ranks when we get to basketball season next year. Dalton State added the Roadrunners in men's basketball out of the blocks winning 20 of their first 22. We took a trip to the carpet capital of the world to catch up with the Roadrunners. 
Hey! Playing here as a player, I was uh, captain of the basketball team. Uh, I was vice president of the Student Government Association. This is my hometown. I tell people all the time, I got four sisters here. They love to cook and I love to eat. So, so that works out well. But as far as the program goes, having a footprint in the program, uh, building the foundation is what we, really building the foundation to support the castle is what we want to do. And, and, uh, and do it the right way. Uh, not sacrifice any principles, but have hard work, good kids, good quality education, good community. And uh, I, I think it's something that'll be sustained as time goes on. Derek Walls, our athletic director, former Division One basketball coach, you know, he gets it. He understands what's, what's important in athletics. And, uh, you know, the bottom line is, are these kids becoming better character kids? They're going to get uh, their, their classwork and, and, and get a college degree. And then can they compete on the court that'll teach them those lessons that'll help them in life. And for the Roadrunners, Ingalls' labor of love has rocketed out of the blocks, winning 22 of their first 25 as they make their statement coming into the Southern States Athletic Conference next season. The schedule has included wins over Faulkner, Spring Hill, Bellhaven, Southern Wesleyan, Southern Poly, and AUM. So the team is already playing, knowing that these first steps are building blocks for what they think will be a successful future. I really uh, have a lot of respect for all the teams that's in the conference. We, we had tough, tough games with every one of them. Uh, games really wasn't decided until the last minute or so of the game uh, in every one of them. Uh, Southern Poly, uh, we were very fortunate. We shot at the buzzer, won that game. Uh, we, we played in overtime, Southern Weston, who was in the conference. Uh, and then we played uh, Spring Hill, to, it was a two-point game. And uh, I know, you know, Bellhaven was a, a two-point, was 30 seconds to play. I mean, all those teams, and then Faulkner, we won by two. So. Uh, uh, I have a lot of respect for all those teams. Of course, all Montgomery's another team comes to mind that we've played, but, but it was a tough game throughout the game. Well-coached teams and, and good competition. And with the Roadrunners coming out as hot as they have, they're really not a secret anymore. But year one of the worst-kept secret in the country stops at the end of the regular season. They'll have to watch the rest of the country make their run to a title in Kansas City. But not being a secret is part of the deal, and the runners get that. Pretty much people know us, you know, because of Coach Angle, because of the great players we have. Uh, uh, like I said, we're a good team, we have a good record. Uh, people going to know about us. Well, it gives us a little preview for next year. We know what to expect. We can get a little scouting report on each and every team. We have film and stuff. So I think we'll be well prepared for uh, next season. The chance for Angle to come home and build in front of his family and friends has been a blessing for him, but it's all part of a longer process. Engel says it's his lot in life to work this way, and the foundation surely is strong. You know, someone once said you can't hide success, and nor do we want to, but uh, as of our last NAIA polls, we, uh, we're very fortunate but, uh, and blessed to, uh, to have the most wins in NAIA basketball. You can't hide that. When, when you're at the top in a nation and wins, it's pretty remarkable. And, and the, 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 the three, three losses, one was at the buzzer on the road, another one was in overtime on the road, and another one we got beat at home. But, um, but anyway, real proud of the team and, and all the adversity that they went through this year. So Nicole, the rest of the Southern States Athletic Conference should consider themselves warned. The Roadrunners are on their way. Exciting basketball coming in. You got as it. As if it wasn't exciting enough in the conference. Take it up another notch. All right. Well, that's going to do it for this block. Up next, we'll finally tell you about everything that's going on here at Coastal Georgia. The showcase continues after this. This is a photo of a toasted, tasty Nuke sandwich and another of Nuke's crispy California-style pizzas and supremely satisfying salads and oh-so-decadent desserts. Of course, they're just photos, but proof enough that a picture can tempt a thousand taste buds. Come to Nuke's and enjoy our signature dishes made with the finest, freshest ingredients in person. After all, taste buds can only take so much tempting. Being at Faulkner is like being a part of a big family. I feel safe here. It seems like I know everybody, and even my professors know me by name. My faith in Christ has grown a lot since coming to Faulkner, especially working with this outstanding Bible department and seeing the general Christian lives of all the professors on campus. Faulkner University is a growing, academically strong institution 
where Christ is the center of everything we do. Visit our website today to see what Faulkner has for you. Education should do more than just fill your head with knowledge. It should open your mind and transform your life with the power of truth. At Blue Mountain College, we are inspiring a new generation to learn truth, love knowledge, and live virtue. This is what we teach. This is who we are. Blue Mountain College. Truth. Knowledge. Virtue. Our adult students are a rare and special type of person. Leaders in the office and the community. Teachers in and out of the classroom. Superheroes without capes. They administer first aid on computers and scrape knees. They are changing healthcare and themselves. Be the best version of yourself with an accelerated bachelor's or MBA degree from Bethel University. Call one 877 bethel today. From Little League to the Big Leagues, Musco specializes in sports lighting around the world. Musco's light structure green sports lighting cuts operating costs in half with less energy use. Cut spill light by half, provides guaranteed constant light levels, and includes a 25-year warranty. For your budget, for the environment, Musco Lighting. We make it happen. Welcome back to the showcase. So, John, earlier we had tennis behind us. Right. Now we've got softball behind right. us. Right. I said it already in the show, but spring is in the air and I am so excited. Spoken <laughs> by the athlete of the two of us as we spend our time here in Brunswick. In the next commercial break or so, when you see the national polls, you're going to see the College of Coastal Georgia in a lot of highlighted print when it comes to winter and spring sports. That's only a small part of what's going on here at the college. Let's find out what else is going on here in Brunswick. At the College of Coastal Georgia, it's another round of change. Some cosmetic that you can see by just seeing the new arch and roadway dedicated out front, and some in appearance with a philosophy unchanged as one of the newest colleges in the state of Georgia. There's a new president in Dr. Gregory Aloya, who's carrying the banner for degrees anchored in analytical thinking, problem solving, effective communication, global awareness, and 21st century skills, and the vibe rubs off across campus. I think the favorite thing about the college is, is uh, the ability to um, encourage folks to attend the college, both students and prospective employees, whether they be coaches or staff. Uh, it's a beautiful campus. Uh, the people are great, and the location is very, very nice. I mean, here we are. It's February the um, whatever the day is the second or, and uh, we're standing here shirt sleeves and the sun's out and it's 75 degrees so what could be better than that and uh, it's it's but there's a lot of good things going on the growth and development and uh, and from the athletic perspective our teams have uh, continued to have success and uh, that's a credit to the coaches and student athletes so lots of good things going on. The influence that education represents for a citizen in society lends itself to the college's mantra, serve, learn, succeed. Dr. Aloya's heart is close to two thoughts, the development of the international and military coming to campus to further their education, and the idea of attraction, retention, and graduation once any student decides to be a part of the Mariner family. And once someone carries the coastal name as part of their makeup, it's important for all to be good community stewards to Glen County and Brunswick as they all move forward regardless of whom that person is on campus. Something not lost on A.D. Carlton for his charges either. We need to get our athletes out into the community so our, our folks know uh, the quality young folks that we have here. Uh, they're, they're our best ambassadors, uh, the, our student athletes, no question about it. And the more they can be out in the community, uh, the better off our program will be, the more excitement we'll generate and, and, and better turnout and particularly so uh, as, as our teams continue to perform well. Athletically, it's all about growth and accomplishment. The women's hoops program under Betsy Harris is fresh off their first postseason appearance in school history. Both coaches, Carlton and Harris, are seeing this as a part to hang their hat on as the program grows to heights sought in Brunswick from the beginning. I think it's a combination of just um, the girls that I've brought in. Um, I know that the girls that I brought in this year are totally different from how I recruited the first two years because I brought in some more freshmen this year um, to go along with four of the kids that I returned. 
um, just try to do something different. You know, I've looked at other programs. I looked at Faulkner on what he did also. Just try to see how everybody else was successful. So that's what I tried to do. I would like to, us to be able to compete on the national level. I would like to see us, and I know everybody, every coach wants this. You know, I would like to be able to bring a national championship here. That's hard. You know, it's easy to say, but it's really hard to do. But I'm not going to stand here as a coach and just say compete on the national level. I mean, I want what every coach wants. You know, you want to win championships. So I'm hoping that in the future we're able to do that. But it's going to be, it's a lot of work. And it, and it should be. It's, it really is amazing and unbelievable. This is, again, our third year competition as a four-year school. And to, be, to have that kind of success uh, this soon is, is, again, a credit to our coaches and uh, their quality, their professionalism, and their ability to bring in talented student athletes. And, you know, our, our volleyball just barely missed the national playoffs. And uh, we're, we're hoping that uh, we'll have several teams again uh, in the hunt for conference championships which is our next hurdle uh, to be able to because there's a lot of quality competition and our next hurdle is uh, to, to actually win a, a, a conference championship and that's that's uh, going to be our mark uh, it, it, when we get to that point and can really compete for championships in our league and then consistently and that, that's that's going to be very important for us. And with other programs ranked in the top 25s in the NAIA in winter and spring sports, the Mariners are making an early statement in the southern states for the rest of the country to take notice. But the program is in its early stages, and Carlton knows that there's a lot to be proud of and a lot of growth to occur across the board, starting in the spring. Well, for the spring sports, i got to start with the golfs. Uh, we got both of our teams ranked in the top 10 um, in, in the NAIA, and we're just thrilled about that. Uh, if we can stay healthy, uh, we, we, they, those two sports may be the ones where we can win a conference championship. Of course, there's a lot, lot to happen still and a lot of good competition. Uh, tennis, our women's team uh, went to the national tournament last year, uh, lost 5-4 in a very close match in the first round and everybody's back so we're looking for really good things from our tennis teams, both. Our men are receiving votes and we're expecting them to to make a run if uh, hopefully to get to the national tournament. Um, and then softball, we've, we've hired a new coach, Mike Minnick, uh, who's, who's really brought a lot of enthusiasm uh, to his program. And uh, we, we expect that team is a little more mature this year and we expect them to really, uh, to if, if not compete for the league championship this year, be a team that, uh, that others don't want to see necessarily. So, Nicole, that is a very small sample of how the College of Coastal Georgia grows and continues to do so. Growing and improving every single day. You got it. All right, that's going to do it for this block. We still have a lot to tell you, but first, our Players of the Week. The Players of the Week at the conference level for the week of February 10th are as follows. In men's basketball, the honor went to Coastal Georgia's Reggie Burke. The 6'2 junior from Tampa, Florida, continues to shine for the Mariners, scoring 36 against Bruton Parker. That's just four shy of his career high of 40, which is still the highest scoring total in the SSAC this year. He also scored 28, coupled with six assists, in a victory over Auburn Montgomery. Burke is the third leading scorer in the league with 19.7 points per game. In women's basketball, it was Ariel Wilson of Belhaven, the Brandon, Mississippi native, carried the Blazers to a pair of SSAC victories. She scored a game-high 22 and grabbed seven rebounds in the Blazers' 69-65 win over Loyola. She then recorded a career-high 33 along with nine rebounds while adding a team-high four assists in Belhaven's 70-66 upset of then number 15 Bethel. For the week, the freshman guard shot 46% from the field, 73% from the line, while she averaged 27.5 points per game and eight rebounds. She was also named National Player of the Week by the NAIA. Congratulations to all of the Players of the Week. At Nukes, we know that for you, it's all about flavor. You want unique combinations that truly tempt your taste buds. Culinary classics that go to a whole new level. You like being served fresh takes on old favorites. All in a fun, stylish, casual place to be. All we want is to see that smile when you take your very first bite. So come see us at Nukes Eatery. 
Education should do more than just fill your head with knowledge. It should open your mind and transform your life with the power of truth. At Blue Mountain College, we are inspiring a new generation to learn truth, love knowledge, and live virtue. This is what we teach. This is who we are. Blue Mountain College. Truth. Knowledge. Virtue. Being at Faulkner is like being a part of a big family. I feel safe here. It seems like I know everybody, and even my professors know me by name. My faith in Christ has grown a lot since coming to Faulkner, especially working with this outstanding Bible department and seeing the general Christian lives of all the professors on campus. Faulkner University is a growing, academically strong institution where Christ is the center of everything we do. Visit our website today to see what Faulkner has for you. I had a dream, a beautiful dream. I couldn't believe how real it seems. Up on stage in the field of green, on the winding river, on a song you'll sing. When I wake up, I'll see you here in Montgomery, where dreams come true. Time to put a bow in yet another show from the College of Coastal Georgia. You saw the polls, Southern States as always. Well represented. All right, that's it for this tour. We're going to catch some little women's hoops, and we're going to hit the road. We'll see you again. Yes, we are. So goodbye from Coastal Georgia. Make sure you come and see us next week on the showcase. Education should do more than just fill your head with knowledge. It should open your mind and transform your life with the power of truth. At Blue Mountain College, we are inspiring a new generation to learn truth, love knowledge, and live virtue. This is what we teach. This is who we are. Blue Mountain College. Truth. Knowledge. Virtue. Choosing the right college can be difficult. You're looking for professors that will challenge you while investing in your future. You want a place where you can be yourself and have fun while strengthening your faith and making a difference in the lives of those around you. You belong at the University of Mobile. The University of Mobile offers more than 40 areas of study in a Christ-centered environment just one hour from the beautiful beaches on Alabama's Gulf Coast. The University of Mobile. Learning, faith, and leadership. From my very first day at Faulkner, it's been an incredible experience. There's so much to do around campus, and I know that I've made friends that will last a lifetime. I love using my iPad in my classes. I feel really prepared for the future. Plus, the use of e-text helps me cut costs on textbooks. At Faulkner University, we seek to educate the whole person, including mind, spirit, and soul. That's what makes us different from most other universities. Visit our website today to see what Faulkner has for you. Our adult students are a rare and special type of person, leaders in the office and the community, teachers in and out of the classroom, superheroes without capes. They administer first aid on computers and scraped knees. They are changing healthcare and themselves. 
Be the best version of yourself with an accelerated bachelor's or MBA degree from Bethel University. Call 1-877-4-BETHEL today.